um, with the other ice creams and stuff that we had earlier. Um, I can use this in my traveler's notebook. This is going to be perfect. So that is our sticker kit um, for today, day nine. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I think this one's going to be more involved than any of the other um, pages that I have done. So I'm going to set some of this stuff aside and I will show you what I have. I knew this was going to be a big day, so I am do, going to do flip outs. And so I just need to adhere these papers in the book. So I'm going to move that over to the side and I'm only going to put tape on this side. And this is really paper. It's not cardstock. It's just scrapbook paper. Um, I didn't want to bulk up um, these pages any more than I needed to. So I just opted to go with just paper. And I got two coordinating papers because I wanted them to match but not be exactly alike. So I have the green that has the polka dots from the red over here and they both are on like a wood background. And these came from Hobby Lobby and I've had these a while so I don't know that you would be able to find these. In fact, I think I bought these on clearance last year. Um, so I don't know if they're even available anymore. Oops, I don't that one. Let me grab this other one. I knew that one was running out pretty soon. There we go. this one the right way up there we go the other thing that I want to go ahead and put in is I have one of these little snack bags that I am going to tuck in here with some washi tape and this is where I'm going to put um, my journaling because I'm not going to have anywhere to journal because this is going to be pretty much covered in photos. So I'm going to put my journaling in here, which I will journal off, um, off screen. So I am going to, let's see, let's use some of this. I'm going to go ahead and cut this because this is a little more um, difficult to work with because it's got the backing on it. And so I'm going to do a green and a red. I'm going to use the red on the red side, the green on the green side. Guys, I'm going to have to wait, waste a piece of this washi because I want to get the backing off, but I want to pre-cut it. And I have a lot of this. So let's see if I can do this. There we go. So hopefully I have not made a bigger mess. There we go. So I thought I would just cut these equal sizes and then I can cut them down to size. There we go. And we'll set that to the side. Alrighty. So I'm going to bring this down almost to the bottom. And we are going to bring that in like this. 
So let's see if we can get this off. And this is a red foil. I know it looks kind of orangey every time I use it on the screen, but this is a beautiful red. It is, it, it's just a beautiful red. That might have been a mistake to cut this off. Okay, guys. There we go. Trim this down just a little. Okay. There we go. And let's see if we can get this side. There we go. So now we're going to flip this over and we're going to put the green. sticky under my nails and it's driving me crazy. Okay, so now we are going to do the green. And this is going to hold, um, as I said, the journaling that I'm going to do because there is no way for me to journal on this colored paper. And I know I've got enough, um, kind of cut around this a little bit. I have two pairs of these scissors and these, the tips are just about worn out from use and I should have grabbed the other set. There we go. So now the next thing I am going to do is I have cut out um, some pockets because I still have my ticket stubs that I want to put in here. And I think I'm just going to use the tape on this because they're very narrow. Oh, that's the one I'm done with. There we go. So that has created a pocket that I'll be able to put our tickets in. Um, all they did at the gate was scan the codes and then gave the tickets back to us. So that was great. So those will go in there. I do have um, some more I want to decorate, so I'm going to leave those out for now. Um, on this side, I do have a red Christmas tree. That I thought I would put on here. I just need to put a little bit of glue. I think it's going to take glue um, to do this. So I'm going to put just a little bit. Yeah. 
I'm going to put a little bit in here to hold it flat. These trees, I believe, came from Hobby Lobby. We're going to let that sit there. It's going to dry clear, so I'm okay with it um, squirting out just a little bit because I do want it to make sure it stays on there. So we're going to let that adhere for a little while. And then we're going to start to work over here. I've got another pocket. I just alternated the colors. And let's see if we can get this one down. go and on this side I pulled out these little gift tags that I thought I would like to put in there and I thought what I would do is I'm just going to ignore the to and from and I'm going to journal the um, date and the time on this one and where we were on this one and they can live right here in this pocket but I thought that was cute because they were light bulbs so that's what's going to happen there and I have these little Christmas trees to go on this one. So we're going to, and these are just peel off. So we're going to put these down. I just want to say that this was the prettiest place I've uh, I have ever been. Um, the lights were absolutely beautiful. They were uh, they, uh, when I start showing you guys the photos, you will just be amazed. Well, I hope you will be amazed because I was just amazed. Um, so we're going to open this up, and I am going to start kind of arranging some of the photos that we took. Um, and I have got, um, I do have some stickers to go around them. Um, some of these are where we stop to eat and here is the Christmas tree, guys. I want y'all to see this. The dark spots in front is the people. I'm sorry, that's the wrong finger to use. Um, people standing in front of the tree. It was 200 and I don't remember, 230, 250 feet tall. And it had over 10,000 um, LED lights. And they lit the tree while we were there. And it was spectacular. It is covered in lights. Um, the other thing that was absolutely beautiful, um, this is looking up into the tree, but you can see down at the bottom how full it is. But these lights came down from these trees and they're covered in the Spanish moss. And so it kind of looked like an extension of that. Um, so I want to, let's see if we can figure out how we're going to get all of these in here. Okay, this is our lunch. So I think these are going to go on this side, and I think I want to put these over here. This is in the car going. We stopped to get coffee. The reason it was called um, A Night of a Thousand Lights is because all of these are A Night of a Thousand Candles, is that all of these um, here are actual candles, and they're wax candles that you light. They're not the electric candles. And I have a couple of these. Um, 
and here's another one all of these in here they actually were still lighting some of the light the candles when we got there and there were girls i guess there were some guys too in the hip waders that they use for fishing in these pot, um, little fountains and they were lighting all of these candles and there had to be over a thousand candles i know it said in the night of a thousand candles it had to be over a thousand because you had candles absolutely everywhere um they were there lining the paths they had the luminaries um they had um all the pillars the um brick pillars for the walkways lined with these candles it was just amazing i have never seen something as spectacular um, so I think we are going to do kind of like this and that'll give me some spots for some stickers and maybe some washi whatever I don't use we can put in one of the pockets um, this was in the children's area it's hard to really see what it is but she reminded me of Mary Poppins and they're riding different turtles and all the lights in here were all the different colored lights um, and as you can tell, because it's throwing a blue um, haze to it, but they were reds and blues and greens, and they were just absolutely beautiful. The kids had a ball in there. Um, and here is another one from that section. So it's one of the trees lit up, and this is the entrance to it. So you knew it was going to be spectacular. So I think we are going to go ahead and get started. So this was when we started we stopped at a local coffee shop we have starbucks coffee here um, i'm just not a fan of starbucks coffee but we have a local um, coffee shop here and they it's called port city java and their coffee is out of this world i love their like an almond joy and it tastes just like they have melted an almond joy and poured it in your coffee it is out of this world so we stopped for coffee. I thought that would make my throat feel better. And um, I just needed that jolt. So we're gonna start with that one because that was as we were leaving. Then this is when we stopped to eat dinner because we wanted to eat before um, we left. And guys, the show, we could be there by 3, um, anytime between 3 and 9, you could get there. I wish we had gotten there a little bit earlier, but as I said, I really was not feeling that great. So we kind of left later than we had wanted to. Um, because I just, just didn't think I could do it. So here it is right before it started getting dark. So we're gonna start with this one. And again, I'm using my zip printer from my Polaroid zip printer. So we're gonna put this one here. Um, I also would like to go ahead and put this one with um, here next to me. Um, I might change up this a little bit. This was at the entrance, so I might go with this one next. And maybe I can go like this. Um, this was as you're entering um, some of the garden. So I think I'm going to go with this one next. And there we go. And then this is, as we were leaving, I stopped to take this one because I knew it would be beautiful at night. But these are the columns that held up the portico that you walked under. And every column was, was decorated with candles. And again, they were all candles that you lit. And when you drove in to the gardens, the roadways were marked. And also the trees had candles. So it had to be more than a thousand candles. It just really had to be um, more. So this was one of the areas they had these, but I got a close up of it. These are like wine bottles that are turned upside down with a Christmas light um, in there. And these made like little paisley 
paisley prints all over this one um, area, one garden. Each garden was decorated differently. So I wanted to show you guys that. And I do want to keep the kids' stuff together. And you know what? I could do that there and that one there. Keep them together. And I do want to put the Christmas tree up here. Um, the lights in these trees, these are actually mason jars that had the little twinkle lights in there and each one of these were hung up into the trees and that as you can see them here they were absolutely beautiful everything was just absolutely beautiful i might put that one there and then bring this one over here might be a little bit easier just like that and i think i want to might take this one and just leave it in um, I think I'm gonna take both of those up I want to put this one here it's me and my son and do this I think that's what I want to do okay so we're gonna go ahead and do it this way and I'm leaving the bottom open because I do have um, some stickers that I do want to use these down um, we left later than we had anticipated and I knew I wanted to um, stop by the outlets in Myrtle Beach uh, my son needed a winter coat for um, Christmas and it was really cold so we stopped by and got him a coat for Christmas and I picked up the rest of my Christmas stuff. I knew what I wanted. It was just a matter of finding it. Um, we weren't at the outlets very long because um, I just kind of knew what shops I wanted to go to. And I went in, grabbed what I needed to get, and then we left. So we were left here around 11 or 12. And then we stopped to eat. It's a um, little over an hour drive there. And then we stopped um, to eat and then to go into the gardens. And then the drive back was another couple hours to get back. So um, all in all, we were gone for a while. But um, it, a lot of that was driving time. Okay. So... This washi is um, Christmas tree washi from um, the Dollar Target spot. And I just pulled off half the glitter with that tape, so I am going to start it right there. So what I thought I would do, let me see if this is dried yet. It's almost dry. Okay, so what I'm thinking is I could do the green all the way across I just feel like it's going to be easier if I do it this way There we go. And then when I fold that in, there we go. And then on this side, I'm going to do um, the trees again. I think they'll show up good enough on there. Just kind of trying to keep it a little cohesive and keep it kind of the same. Okay, so we're going to cut it right there. And 
And as I said, I am doing this one a lot more on this one that I than I have been doing on some of the other pages. But this was such a beautiful garden. I just wanted to make sure I got everything on here. There we go. Now, I will do all of my journaling um, after I'm done. We'll do that. I'll, I will figure out some decoration to go on there. I'm not really sure right this moment um, what I do want to put there. So let me go ahead. I've got these cups that I pulled out that are like coffee cups. And I thought I could put that there. I'm kind of liking that polka dotted one, actually. So to go with our coffee. Ooh, that's going to cover up mine. So we'll put that here. And these are really puffy stickers. So I thought I would do that. And then the other thing that I had were these Christmas lights. And I thought I would do one on each side. Um, and one's got the green and red and the white red so I thought I would do that and they're like gems so um, I think that's what we're going to do so on this one I think I'm going to do the green and red and these are like little puffy stickers there we go And I also have some of these ornaments and some of these stars. And I thought, let's do some stars. And maybe sporadically put some ornaments on here. Let's do this red one with the green. I really like this one. And then we'll do this one. Let's grab this star. And let's see. Let's go over here. We still have to put our day nine. So I believe we're going to put nine here. I may have to come back with my Tombow Extreme with this tape. It's not really sticky sticky, <laughs> so it doesn't want to stay. So we're going to flip that over like that. And then here we're going to do our red and white stickers right across here. Oops, I dropped it right in my lap. You know what, I might, let's see if it'll fit. It does, let's do this one right here. Mix it up a little. And what else do I want to put down here? We can do some more of these. So I'll pull off. I'm having a hard time with my nails done. There we go. There we go. 
in here let's see what do I want to use I also pulled these out I think I'm gonna put the snowflakes and let's do I wonder if I can get that let's try it sleeve through it'll be okay so we'll do that there and then on this side we're going to put in our tickets so we'll have those let me move some of this stuff out of the way and I will journal and the journaling will go in here. I'm also gonna take my extra photos. They will go um, in the, um, this bag too. So we'll go ahead and put those in there. And we need to put our day nine. We'll put that over in this pocket. And I will do some, I might do some journaling here um, or decorate it. So that is going to be it um, for today. So I hope you enjoyed this plan, um, December daily. And I think I'm going to just put that in there to kind of hold it tight. And that's going to do it for today. So I appreciate you following me today. And we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.